<laughs> okay, hold on. It is so hard for me to talk about myself. It really is. My name is Chris Simmons, and I um, came from Washington, D.C. to go to Dallas Theological Seminary and started working at Cornerstone Baptist Church in 1988. The community was in crisis, called a war zone, uh, because of the drive-by shooting, the gang activity, uh, prostitution, open-air drug dealing. So churches left, businesses left, individuals left. And we went to our church early on in the early 90s and asked this question. If we were to leave this community, would the community miss us? And so we just made a commitment that we would serve this church and serve this community as best we know how. And so we've done a, and developed a number of programs uh, as a result over the years based on uh, the needs that the community has said that they have had. Uh, we were working with guys coming out of prison, helping men who are formerly incarcerated have a successful reintegration back into the community. Uh, we were feeding sandwiches on Saturday morning and uh, 10 to 15 people would stop by. That has evolved over the years to the Cornerstone Kitchen where we're doing around 13,000 meals a month. We did a study with the State Fair of Texas and found out people in the neighborhood, sometimes children didn't go to school because they didn't have access to clean clothes. And so thus we have the Cornerstone uh, shower complex and clothing pantry where individuals can come get cleaned up. We're working now to uh, purchase apartment complex to do rehab, purchase vacant land so we can do some affordable housing. So those who have a, a long time passion and commitment and desire to live in South Dallas can do so at an affordable price. So our partnership with Viola's House began in 2014, had an opportunity to meet Fauna and she shared with us our vision around meeting the needs of homeless moms or teen moms who did not have a place to go. Texas being the number one state with repeat teen moms, we thought that Viola's House would be a good partnership with not only helping these moms have their babies in a safe environment and having the tools and resources to raise that child so that child is not raised in poverty, but also helping mitigate around repeat teen pregnancy so that it was not becoming over and over again. And so one of the things that we've really enjoyed about Viola's House is not only does it provide a place where people can have a safe teen mom, but also counseling service and life skill services and resources. There's so many positive impacts, it's hard to give a few. One, of course, is we see the ladies who were once in the program now working for the program. Mothers who uh, not only have been successful in raising their children, but also now are able to work with young mothers who are in that same situation. But it also provides job opportunities for many in the uh, community who want to live and work in their neighborhood. They certainly can go other places to work, but they really have a desire to really impact their own community, and so Viola's House allows them that opportunity. And then the fact that Viola's House does everything with excellence, it really helps us around community development and providing opportunities to take dilapidated properties and help us to then make them viable facilities that will continue to um, meet the needs and resources of those in this particular community.